Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, Episode 6, the screencast where you can learn Python fundamentals without cracking a book. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about flow control, if and for statements. So once again, I'm already in the Python interpreter. The first thing I'm going to do is assign a variable named x. I'm going to use the int function and also the raw input function. These are actually both new and I'm going to talk about those momentarily. I pass a string to the raw input function. So what this will do is raw input asks a, the user for input on the command line. To it you pass a string that you'd like it to print out before you expect the input to be gathered. In this case I would type in a number and if I typed in 42 that would normally be interpreted as a string. The int function that I've used outside of that will turn that string back into an integer. So if I looked at the type of x it will then be an integer. Let's take a look. We'll use 42 and if I said type x it's an integer. So now I'm going to create an if loop. So this is one of our first conditional statements that we've seen outside of the initial while loop we've done. So let's do while x is less than zero. A full colon is how you specify that you'd like to, to start the if condition. Let's say x equals zero. So as you see, if the user passed to something that is less than zero, a negative one, ten, what have you, it would turn x back into zero and print out negative change to zero to the screen. Well, if the number isn't less than zero, we're going to use something called elif. Uh, in some languages, you may be familiar with uh, elsif or elseif. In Python it uses ELIF and the reason that there is an ELIF instead of just doing if, else, if, else is because indentation is important in Python so it's very important to be able to combine an else and an if into one statement. In this case our next condition here is zero. So if x is zero print the string zero. You may be used to case statements in other languages, but that doesn't that doesn't really exist in Python. We use if, elif, elif, else. So if x is one, print single, else, print more. Now in this case the number we've entered is 42 and when I hit another enter it's going to tell Python that I've completed my my if condition and it will execute. And sure enough 42 is not less than 0, it's not equal to 0, it's not equal to 1, so more is printed out to the screen. The next thing we're going to take a look at is a for loop. So let's create a list. Let's call it my list equals, and remember you create a list with square brackets. So cat window defenestrate. The way you create a for loop is simply by typing for and then you specify the variable you'd like to represent the iterator, x, in, the in keyword specifies what you'd like to iterate over, and in this case, my list is what we would like to iterate over. So rather than some other programming languages where you may specify for, uh, um, for i in 
some list while i is less than this, etc. Uh, I++, plus plus. you don't need to do that in Python. It simply iterates over the list that you have and does the right thing. So let's print x, the thing we're iterating over, and then the length of x. Now remember, length, if it's a string, it'll tell you the number of characters that are in that string. If it's a list, it'll tell you the number of items that are in the list. Once again, an additional enter tells Python we're done with the loop, and we see cat 3, window 6, defenestrate 12. Now one thing to note is while you're looping over a list, you won't actually be able to safely make changes to that list. So a good way of, of solving this problem is by using slices like we've used before. Let me show you an example. If you recall, just leaving off the beginning and the last numbers within a slice means from the beginning all the way to the end. So in this case I'm doing for x in my list remember indentation is important if the length of that particular item, x, is greater than 6, we'll do a now this is new. We're going to use the insert method of a list and at position 0, meaning the first item, I want to put the variable x before it. So our list before was, as you see, cat window, window defenestrate. And now when we run through this loop, we will have defenestrate, cat window defenestrate. It looped through each item, and the only word that had more than six characters was defenestrate and it inserted that back onto the beginning of my list. Now we weren't actually iterating over my list, we were iterating over a copy of my list, the slice. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.